Hi everyone, my name is Ariel Kachatorian and I am a current master's student at Binghamton University majoring in electrical and computer engineering. I'm here with Ada Kappa Nu or HKN, which is the Electrical and Computer Engineering Honor Society. And today we're going to be lighting up an LED light bulb using potatoes. So first I'll go through the materials you'll need, how to construct it, and then I'll show you a light actually lighting up at the end. So first off, you'll need potatoes. You'll need just a thin copper wire. You'll need either copper nails or you can use pennies. I use pennies zinc nails, and you'll need an LED light. This is my LED light, it's very small, and it only requires three volts to actually light up. And if you happen to have a voltmeter or multimeter lying around, this could be useful when you're trying to see whether or not your circuit is working. So the potatoes in this experiment will be basically acting as a battery. So for a battery, there's a positive side and a negative side. Uh, the copper penny will act as the positive side, and the zinc will act as the negative side. So to construct your battery using a potato, we're going to first take one of the pennies, or copper nail, and wrap around a copper wire around it. Here's an example. I just wrapped it around twice around the penny. If you have a nail, you can just wrap it around the top of the nail and you'll cut a slit into your potato. I cut a slit before this video. You'll take your penny and insert it into the slit. Then you will take your zinc nail and enter it on the other side of the battery. Make sure that the zinc nail and the copper penny do not touch inside the potato or else your experiment will not work. Uh, then you will take copper wire and attach it to this side. My nails have a coating on the outside so unfortunately I cannot just um, wrap it around like you normally could if you had just regular nails. So you can normally just do it like this. I will have to take my copper wire and insert it into the potato. This is what it looks like up close. You can see the copper end over here with the penny and the zinc side over here. And there's two wires coming out of each end. I will use my voltmeter here and to test how much volts, how many volts I'm getting from this potato. So you can take the negative side, which is the black lead, or any of the positive side, which is the red lead, and touch either side. So again, I said that the copper penny is the positive side and the zinc nail is the negative side. All my voltmeter is reading right around 0.5 volts. And that's the average amount that I've been getting from these potatoes. So, as I said earlier, these LED light bulbs, that I have at least, require three volts to light up. So, one potato won't be enough. I ended up needing six potatoes to do this. Uh, you can cut potatoes in half, you don't have to use full potatoes for each, you know, potato, but uh, I did need six to light up my light bulb. So, to make sure, to make these add together to be equal to three volts, you have to connect them in a certain way. So, again, I will do the same process as before. I'll take a copper wire, wrap it around my copper penny. And again, place it in a slit in the potato. I'm going to actually remove this um, copper wire connected to my zinc nail. And instead, take this wire connected to this penny and place it in its place. Now, you can see that the potatoes are now connected from one copper side to one zinc side. I will then place a zinc nail on the opposite side of this potato. And again, place a copper wire to touch it. So up close you can tell there is a copper penny here with a wire coming out, a zinc nail with a copper wire connected to the copper penny on the opposite side then a zinc nail, again with a wire coming out. Now these basically connected are connected in series, which means that it is adding the voltage together. So if I test the voltage from here to here, it will read around one volt because each of these are producing 0.5. You're adding the two voltages together. So I'll just test that using my voltmeter again, negative side to the zinc, positive side to the copper. And in fact, it is reading right around one volt, 0.9 around. So, as we saw here, we were able to get one volt using two potatoes. 
I decided to put, to keep going with this, you can do the exact same way and just keep going. So if you can see in mine, I have one, two, three, four, five, six potatoes. Now when I touch, again, the negative side to the zinc nail and the positive side to the copper penny, it is reading right about three volts. So therefore, when I place my LED light bulb on this, it should light up. I wanna go over the LED light bulb that I have because it will probably be similar to the one that you guys have. There are two legs to this LED light bulb. One is slightly longer than the other. The slightly longer one is the positive side and the slightly shorter one is the negative side. So again, I wanna connect the positive side to the positive side and the negative side to the negative side. So I will touch the positive side to the copper wire and the negative side to the zinc nail. I decided to turn on the lights so that you'd be able to see the LED light up a little bit better on camera. So as I said earlier, the shorter side of the LED will go to the zinc uh, nail and the longer side will go to the copper penny. So if you see me touch the zinc nail and place the copper wire on it, you could see my light lighting up. I'm flashing it back and forth so that you can better see. It's a little hard on this uh, camera here, but it is lighting up white. So if you're having troubles getting it working, what I would suggest that if you have a voltmeter or multimeter, uh, this is very useful in determining what your problem is. If you test the voltage and you have below what your LED light needs, you might need to add more potatoes. If you don't have any voltage, you need to check your connections with the pennies and the nails themselves, making sure that the copper wire is touching both the zinc nail and then it's touching the copper nail. Uh, also to double check that the copper penny and the zinc nail are not touching inside the potatoes because that would also make it not work. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and you had a good time. Good luck.